Aries, this is Nikki with Nikki's Tarot Unfiltered. Let me move this camera just a little bit. Y'all don't want it to drop. I hope everybody is doing well out there, you guys. I came to bring you guys your general read. Um, but before I do, I got some energy out here on this board. Um, before I do, I want to make a couple announcements, okay? <clears throat> One is I want to thank my new subscribers, of course. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel in the way that you guys have. It has done nothing but contribute to this channel. And I'm so appreciative of you, Aries. Y'all's the loyal, loyalist, downish, rider dies. I love y'all, okay? Um, listen, I got two announcements, all right? Um, this is giveaway season, baby, okay? So listen, this is for my verified subscribers only okay so this leads me to my next point before i give these two announcements if you are not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and then that way um you know number one you'll be able to get notifications and also that's contributing to this channel and this channel is getting to the point to where as we will be contributing contributing back to you okay i love you aries thank you so much for your support okay so the giveaways okay for verified verified subscribers only okay um number one every 200 subscribers every verified 200 and I have a I have a counter on my thing. Okay. I know who's number 200 So even if you don't comment down below and let me know I still know who it is. Okay. Um, if and I will announce the person on my community channel. Okay. Um, if you have not commented and um, you know, you're you I can't know who you are um i can do a little bit of digging and find out who my 200 subscriber is but it would be so much easier if you guys comment okay and that way i can see you guys's um name handle or whatever and i'll be able to see who's 200 okay so every 200 subscribers there is going to be a free read given by me okay um also giveaway number two um, and this is once a month, all right? And this is for my verified subscribers, okay? I'm giving away one of three items, okay? One is a crown chakra jewelry piece, okay, that goes across the forehead, lays right here on your third eye, helps to activate your, your third eye, okay? Um, also, um, a crystal, like one like something like this, maybe not exactly, but something like that, okay? Um, and also a crystal bracelet, okay? Now, with the crystal bracelet, you can tell me what kind of crystal you have. Now, nine times out of ten, I have them all. Um, but just let me know if you're in interested in, you know, uh, rose quartz, if you're interested in rhodonite, if you're interested in fluorite. Go ahead in the comment section below because this is the only way I'll be able to pick, okay? Hashtag ha what you want to win. Hashtag either crown piece, chakra, okay um hashtag crystal or hashtag crystal bracelet okay and when you put the hashtag crystal bracelet in let me know which one you're interested in if you want tourmaline whatever you want okay you guys um and and i'm gonna make that happen okay i love y'all and i love giving back to my community i do um okay listen um this is a general read for the sun sign of my fierce ass aries okay and also um check your ascendant your descendant your venus and your mars it may resonate okay um is there anything else? oh if you want any information about me that's going to be in the description box okay you guys will be able to find out you know whatever you need to find out my email and everything else is in there okay um so yeah let's get started y'all and listen, I hate turning my back to this camera, okay? So when I'm turning my back to the camera, Aries, it's not because I'm turning my back on you. I would never, ever, ever do that, okay? It's just that the way my camera is set up, and in order for you guys to see my board, I have to be able to go like this, okay? Now, I will get it to the point to where is I got it coming up, down, all right? And then that way, when it's coming up and it's, it's coming down, you'll be able to see me and then plus the board. But we ain't there yet, okay? We're going to get there, but we ain't there yet, okay, Aries? Okay, so let me stop. And also, I've been taking classes, y'all, okay? So, with that being said, one of the things that my classes te teach about is me and my cousin, okay? So, you know, I got to learn how to temper that down, okay? So, you guys might not get that extra raw, you know what I'm saying, boo ghetto ass energy, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, understand I do slip up sometimes and if that offends anybody, you know, um, my apologies, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being me. That's why it's called unfiltered, okay? Uh, yeah, but at the same time, yeah, I am learning, okay? All right, so Aries. 
overall energy. We got work, we got obstacles, we got unexpected, and we got honest conversations, okay? Now, I'm going to read this two ways, okay? Because work is on the board, so I can't not read it that way as well, okay? So, regarding this work here, okay, this professionalism, um, this workplace, you know, maybe even a school, okay? I see some obstacles here, okay? Um, some blocks, some, um, some delays and possibly a pathway. All right. So this could, this could signify that you want to change your work. You want to change, um, your career. You know, you want to change, um, you know, uh, maybe start a business. Okay. But it could possibly be that you are, um, that you are experiencing some obstacles at this time. Okay understand that something is coming through for you okay and like i said we're going to take it to the love reading all right but right now let me read it this way okay um something unexpected is coming through i love you mommy i love you too babe something unexpected is coming through okay some type of conversation something something unexpected this we looking at it at work as far as this work here or this school it could be um, unexpected notice about work. It could be unexpected notice about, you know, uh, college, um, or whatever trade that, you know, is, is coming up. Okay. Um, but understand that this, this unexpectedness, this something that's going to come out of the blue, this Uranus, this Uranus energy, um, it's going to involve conversation and that conversation needs to be honest. So let's just take a, let's take an example. Like for instance, say you're, you know, at your workplace, right? And your supervisor or manager, you know, the one that think they own the company, that one, you know what I'm saying, starts talking to you. Look, you got to have honest, you got to let them know, okay? I, I know my Aries are anyway because y'all, you know, cutthroat like you, you don't have a problem. Yeah, we know that, okay? But what this is requiring, okay, is for honest conversation. So if there's something that you're lacking, if there's something that you're not happy about in this here work environment, in this school environment, in this business environment, speak up, Aries, and not only speak up, be very, very honest and clear and precise what you got to say, okay? Now, will this end up going in your direction? Uh, I don't know. But what I do know is that you got a whole nother opportunity here. So if you're looking at branching out and um, starting your own thing, you know, this right here where there's these obstacles and this unexpected communication conversation, this could actually be the catalyst to where you may use to um, catapult yourself in the direction where you really want to be any damn way. Okay. So, you know, keep it you. Keep, I was going to say keep it 100, but keep it Aries, okay? Keep it Aries, all right? Okay, so now let's go ahead and go in, uh, because, oh, well, let me say one more thing too, okay? Because uh, uh, this work situation, business situation, whatever the case may be, it got some toxic energy here, okay? It got some toxic energy, and it also has some things that you cannot see, as if, like, maybe a higher up has a different agenda for you. OK, and this may come as unexpected as well. OK, this right here for some Aries that I'm talking about, this shit ain't sitting right with y'all. OK, and um, what I'm feeling like maybe an example of it is like, you know how you got some businesses who like, you know, maybe you're the assistant manager or you're a manager and the higher up wants you to be like this hench person. You know what I'm saying? That's happened to me. OK, to whereas it's like they don't want to do they shit. OK, they want to use you to do they shit to people who and here I go cussing. I'm sorry to 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 mess people life up, basically. OK. To basically fire somebody, all right, who really doesn't need to be fired, okay? Like something like that, okay? It may not be that exact situation, Aries, but at the same time, you know, somewhere along those lines, okay? Take what resonate, leave what don't. Y'all know that shit, okay? All right, so as far as the love reading goes, okay, there could still be obstacles at work, all right? But it could be due to a distraction, okay, because of a love situation that's going on, okay, or something around that, okay? This person, um, I do see the two of, uh, the two of cups here. Um, it's a possibility that you're dealing with an earth sign, okay, a Gemini, um, maybe, um, but heavy, uh, earth. Okay. Heavy Taurus, heavy Capricorn, heavy Virgo. Okay. 
Yeah. And whoever this person is, first of all, this person is abundant. This person is nurture, nurturing. This person is a manifester, okay? She's coming up as an empress. This person is pregnant, okay? Now, that doesn't necessarily mean she's pregnant with a child. Or you can be pregnant with a child. You could have gotten somebody pregnant uh, with a child. Or there could be a child up and around you guys, okay? Like, for instance, I'm not pregnant, but my daughter's pregnant. So there's a pregnancy up and around me. You see what I mean? That's that's what I mean, guys. But see, the Empress always also have already been through a lot of shit, too. So she's always pregnant, okay? Giving birth, transforming the negative into the positive, okay? And what she's doing right now is she's thinking, okay? Now, what is she thinking about? Okay, she's thinking about this devil energy that's right next to her, and she's also thinking about this five of coins that's sitting right next to her. Now, this could be you or somebody else, okay? Because the emperor is the emperor's counterpart, and emperors, you know, that that's you, Aries, Aries, that's Aries and Taurus, okay? That's her counterpart. So, this could possibly be you thinking about somebody as toxic as fuck that you really love, okay? Something unexpected happened. Okay, possibly, all right, something unexpected happened to cause somebody to turn their back on somebody, all right, somebody who could possibly be from a different walk of life than you are, um, somebody who um, could possibly uh, be from not where you're from, somebody who could possibly have different morals and values, somebody who possibly um, like to play type of you know those those sneaky games and feel like they can try people okay somebody may be sick here as well and that don't necessarily mean physical they could possibly be mentally sick because i got a card down here to say that that looks like somebody could possibly be you know going through some mental issues all right so yeah this is what she's thinking about she, she she's she's wanting a completion okay she's wanting something to go in the direction of this last energy, which is two of cups, okay? That's a mutual love. But what it looks like before I even start clarifying is that if this is the case, okay? If you have dealt with somebody that has toxic energy, whatever that may be, okay? When the devil comes up, I always tell people, pick your poison. You know what's toxic in your life. You know what's toxic in your relationship, okay? So if that is lust, if that's cheating, you know, sexual addiction, drug addiction, um, any of those type of things, you know, to just plain toxicity, okay? And it has caused either you or somebody else to put somebody's ass out, you know, um... Yeah, somebody is thinking about that. They want a difference, okay? But you need to understand that in this here case scenario, this happened very unexpected, okay? This happened maybe even through conversation, something that they said, okay, um, that somebody didn't like. You see what I'm saying? Or it just happened unexpectedly, okay? Um, yes, and the reason why I say mental issues, you guys, because this is what we got coming up, okay? So it could possibly be that um you know you dealing with an individual that's one day this one day one way you know um the next day they a whole different way or you could be dealing with an individual who one day you know they want this that and the third you know and we got a five-year plan and the next day they out spending all the damn money you know what i'm saying that type of that type of um energy or it could be you know these cups could represent you know the the fact that maybe they may be a hoe okay and they're going from person to person the person the person i mean pick your poison you see what i'm saying to me it looks like mental though okay it looks like abusive mental that's what it looks like to me okay that's what it feels like to me but let's go ahead and clarify and i swear you guys i got me a new deck of cards that i promise you i want to use so bad okay but uh i haven't cleaned them and um yeah we're not going to be able to use um some cards that i have not cleaned okay so let's get busy clarifying Listen, Aries, I hope that you guys are doing well. You guys know I love y'all to death, okay? Take advantage. Take advantage of the giveaways, y'all. I want you guys to have it. I want to get back, give back to you guys. You guys, it's been, um, you know, as this channel grows, this is going to happen. I mean, this, this is what it's going to be, okay? But, yeah, you know, in the comments, you can say hello. I, I, I holler back. I, you know, I, I, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... I love my people, you know what I'm saying? You say hello, I'm going to say hello back to you, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, sometimes I be having whole conversations in the dang on comment box, okay? 
I love all y'all. So take advantage, you guys. Hashtag what you want, okay? Hashtag if you want that crown chakra piece. It is a jewelry piece. It is like a crown, okay? You guys may have seen me wear it before, but it's a crystal that sits right there above the third eye, and it helps to activate it. I love those pieces. Um, hashtag that if you're interested in it. It's also very beautiful as well, okay? Um, when I've worn outside, I've gotten compliments, okay? Um, also, if you're interested in a crystal, hashtag crystal, okay? If you're interested in a crystal bracelet, hashtag crystal bracelet and hashtag, well, just hashtag crystal bracelet and then just like, you know, next to it, you know, just say which one you're interested in. You know what I'm saying? Go do some research, you guys, on crystals. I can go on and on and tell you what they mean, but that'll take over y'all read, okay? Um, yeah, we ain't fixing to do that. What I would suggest, if you guys are into love readings, okay? And love is something I suggest. Um, Amon 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 I suggest rose quartz. I was I suggest um, uh, rose quartz and uh, rhodonite. Okay, that those are really good. Okay, as far as love. All right, and a self love as well. Okay, um, as far as protection stone, I would rep I would uh, recommend you to. Um, you know, get uh, something like black tourmaline, onyx, um, black onyx, um, tiger's eye, something like that, okay? My fiance just looked at my tiger's eye bracelet and he was like, he want one, so I'm going to have to get him one. Um, if you guys are interested in amplifying energy, if you got, uh, you know, any type of clairs or gifts, selenite, sel selenite is really good. Um... I love these, the clear quartz. I mean, they're they that's what they are. They're amplifiers, okay? Um, what else would I would suggest? Um uh if you're looking to uh you know bring out your psychic abilities, you know, fluorite, you know, um labradite, uh any blue stone, celestite, angelite, those type of things, kyanite. So, you know, like I said, just do your research, Aries, on what stones that you would like. Oh, also, lapis lazuli, okay, is a good one. And um, and solidite, that's also a really good one, okay? So, those are the um, the bracelets that you can choose from, okay? But it's, it's more. I mean, it's hundreds of them, all right? So, just whatever you guys want, okay? So, listen, let me go ahead and, and um, Holy Spirit, tell me about this work situation and its obstacles for Aries, your children. You're on the board, Aries. Dang, I just dropped a card. Give me a second, you guys. And I'm dropping another card. What the hell? Okay. Okay. The, the emperor came up, okay, to, to describe this work and these obstacles, okay, which makes me feel like there is a person that is in charge that, that maybe takes their authority way too far in this here work situation, and that's for some of you Aries, okay, um, they're coming down a little bit too strong for you in your taste, um, maybe a little bit too authoritative, what is this emperor doing, give me one more for this, because this is not everybody's situation, yeah, and you're thinking about it. This is the reason why I told you, okay? You got your that's hermit mode, okay? Virgo's on the board, okay? Heavy Aries, heavy Taurus, heavy Virgo, okay? Give me um unexpected Holy Spirit, please. Give me unexpected in conversation, honest conversation for your people, for your glory. Aries. Yeah. So you cut down. Okay, either you hurt something. Some conversation came to you that was unexpected, but you shut that down, okay? Okay, and this is the reason why the five, um, you know, and a matter of fact, the way they came at you, okay, maybe uh, was maybe a bit too harsh, all right? Um, something that you didn't like to hear, okay? But it put you in this King of Swords energy, okay? And it's almost like, even though you felt a certain kind of way about it, it was like your emotions just completely left, okay? And it was like you went into warrior mode, okay? That's what it looked like to me. Mm. 
maybe lack of patience, okay? Not lack of patience for that unexpected conversation, okay? In work or in love. Okay, now let's go to love, okay? Give me the Empress Holy Spirit, please, for Aries. We got three, so we got three um, swords here, okay? That's heartbreak. That's, you know, that's heartbreak. This is the reason why the devil is here, and this might be the reason why this is here. Remember I told you it could have been a hole, and it could be a you know. Okay, so that's where the obstacles is coming from, unexpected. You might have unexpectedly found out that this person who you were with was cheating, okay? You may have heard somebody say, because you got honest conversations here, okay, that somebody was cheating, okay? Yeah. Or flip it. If you're a cross watcher, flip it, okay? Capricorn is on the board. So is Gemini. So is Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Gemini. Give me this three of swords, Holy Spirit, please. I'm going to switch decks, y'all. Took you strength. Took you a lot of strength, okay? But I see where somebody went back and forth. Give me one more on this Empress. Strength probably to walk away or I don't know. Give me strength for this Empress. Seven of Wands. Somebody's determined about something. Somebody strong and determined about what? Fighting. Okay, standing their ground. Okay, that's what's going on. So somebody found out, all right, that this this person, this Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, uh, was cheating. Okay, or broke your heart in some type of way through some type of conversation, through some type of unexpected conversation. Okay, something unexpected. You seen something? Um, you found out something very unexpectedly, or through conversation. Okay. Somebody had a lot of strength, okay, to, uh, and a lot of determination, all right? And because of the strength and determination that somebody had to exercise, somebody ended up in a five of swords, and I truly believe that's you, um, Aries, and the reason why is because it's a fierceless win, okay? And when we talk about fierceless, we talking about Aries. When we talk about winning, we talking about Aries, okay? So, you know, give me uh, the devil, please. Holy Spirit for Aries, your people, and for your glory. Somebody likes to flirt a lot. It's like they flirt, but they don't mean what they say. You know what I'm saying? But they like to flirt like it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Let me move this camera a little bit more so y'all can. My back is not as turned to you. I don't like it when my back is turned to y'all. Give me, give me the devil, Holy Spirit, please more. Somebody does a lot of flirting here, and they talk a good game. You've been through. Somebody's been through something with this person. The fool is here. Okay. So at one point in the game, somebody took a took a leap of faith to go to this toxic individual who is very flirty. Okay, this could be a water sign as well, because the Knight of Cups came up. So that could be you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces um, Scorpio. All right, give me the Seven of Cups. Ace of Coins came up after the Seven of Cups, okay? So, that could be one of two things. Maybe they are, whoever did this cheating, okay? Delusions, illusions, you know, having their hand in different pies, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Um, they may think that that is some serious abundance, okay? Some success for them personally, okay? This is like selfish individual, okay? Or... What it could mean is, is they messed that up, okay, one or the other. Give me more for this seven.
this person is greedy, okay? This person is very, very greedy, okay? They want what they want, okay? If this, if you see the Seven of Cups? If the Seven of Cups is representing other people, they want what they want. They're coming after it, all right? Period. Um, if it's lying and manipulating, you know, um, this is what they do, okay? They're greedy. They're very greedy. And they're very selfish, okay? The chariot is describing this, okay? This Ace of Cups to me lets me know that whatever these options are, whatever these things that they're entertaining in, they look at it as self-beneficiary, okay? They're wrong, okay? But you can best believe they're going after that. That's the chariot, okay? They got a wheelbarrow out of this world to go entertain this behavior, okay? This is toxic behavior. This is right up underneath the devil, okay? So let's go further. Give me more on the seven. For Aries. Hold on. You got my whole deck. Y'all, it's the sleeves. Aries. Set. Yeah. They're a hoe. Okay? Not a ones. Straight ass hoe. Period. Okay? And this is the reason why they asked us back in the call. Okay. They led somebody to believe that they love them. Okay. Give me the give, give me the five of coins, Holy Spirit, please. For your people, for your beautiful Aries, for their highest good, their understanding. They if they left you or you left them, it is because they want to go seek this. This ace of coins, okay? Because what's on their mind is prosperity, all right? Give me more for this five of coins. What's on their mind is money, period. Yeah. They feel like they got other opportunities that they go entertain as a page of coins. They about money. This person is materialistic. Nothing but coins are coming up with for them, okay? But you need to understand it's eluding them. Give me more. It's eluding them, y'all. They don't have any patience. They don't have any balance. They don't have any self-control when it comes down to this money. You're dealing with a gold digger or something like that. Somebody who worships money. Five of coins. Because they don't care. They'll risk it all. They'll lose everything to go on a pursuit of it. You see what I'm saying? And it's this person. The Empress came up again, okay? So it is this individual. This is this individual who got into it with, okay? But tell me about this Two of Cups. Holy Spirit. For Aries. Did I just pass that? I believe I passed it. Yep. Passed it. Two of Cups, Holy Spirit. For Aries, for your glory. Here we go. Somebody's holding tight to this union. Somebody is. Somebody having money problems too. But somebody's holding tight to this union. Give me more. Somebody knows somebody is generous and giving here. Seem like a take it for granted type of situation. Give me more. Somebody's grieving. Okay, so this is no, this is five of cups here. Okay, this is haunting loss. Haunting loss behind somebody who really did give a fuck about somebody. Behind somebody who was, if this is you, Aries. You gave a fuck about this person. You lost money behind this person. You invested in this person. You uh, was generous. You was giving to this person. And now either you or them or is mourning. Okay? This relationship. All right? Yeah. So tell me about this world. 
because something is completed. Give me, give me, give me this world. Yep, and all you got is memories. You got six of cups. You got some memories going on here. Give me more. Somebody got some memories. Six of cups, world. Also, also the memories is of the star party too. Could also uh, be that you're reminiscing on how you thought you were good together. Okay, what you guys were building at one point in the game. Queen of Swords is here, cutting out that illusion and that damn delusion, okay? So, Aries, this is what I have for you. Let me go ahead and give you a self-edification card. Somebody's grieving here. Somebody lost. And the reason why is because somebody dealing with a selfish-ass gold digger, okay? A selfish whole gold digger, okay? That's why. But I am going to give you some uh, edification card here. Holy Spirit, give me an edification card for Aries. Please, for their highest good, what would you want them to know? Aries, your people, for your glory. Two cards came out. Hold on, two cards. Sugar queen, I'm just gonna, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Number two could be significant. What it's saying is, is that you don't need no more bullshit in your life. You deserve sugar, not salt, okay? You don't deserve nobody trying to take from you. You don't deserve nobody, um, you know, hating on you. You don't deserve someone not appreciating you. You deserve sugar. You deserve the good things in life. Because like I said, somebody here is a lender and not a borrower. Somebody here, um, let me go back to this card here. Somebody here has literally invested in somebody, okay? And not just in love, but also monetarily, okay? Also, somebody here is very generous in giving, okay? When it came down to this here Two of Cups, okay? And so what this, what the Holy Spirit is saying is that, first of all, whoever it is, Capricorn, you know, it could be Virgo, a Taurus, a uh, heavy Capricorn, could be a water sign. I do see Gemini. Um, who else do I see? Heavy Capricorn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, that they, they've been treating you in a way that you don't deserve to be treated, okay? You deserve sugar, not salt, okay? This is what the Holy Spirit wants you to know, okay? So with that being said, Aries, I love you guys dearly. And um, I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Um, for my new subscribers, I'm so happy that you are here. Welcome to the channel. Um, we are family here. I love you guys. And yes, I like when you guys comment, okay? Yeah, I do. It made me feel some kind of way, y'all. It made me feel some kind of way. Because I be loving to hear from my Aries, okay? So listen, comment below, though, okay? What you want to win, all right? And remember, every 200 subscribers... One person will get a read, okay? So with that being said, you guys be blessed, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, Aries.